This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of verifying trigonometric identities. Question 1. Left side is 1 over 1 minus sin theta minus 1 over 1 plus sin theta. The right side has one term, so we have to make a single fraction. Then we need 1 plus sin theta over 1 plus sin theta, then times 1 minus sin theta over 1 minus sin theta equals the numerator 1 plus sin theta over 1 minus sin theta times 1 plus sin theta minus 1 minus sin theta over 1 plus sin theta 1 minus sin theta then subtract the numerator 1 plus sin theta minus 1 minus sin theta over 1 minus sin theta times 1 plus sin theta then expand 1 plus sin theta minus 1 plus sin theta over the denominator is a minus b times a plus b form which is a squared minus b squared then a part minus b part a part plus b part a part squared is 1 minus b part square is a sine squared theta then plus 1 minus 1 is cancelled then 2 sine theta over this one sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1 move sine squared theta to the right then cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta then the denominator is cosine squared theta. We can rewrite as 2 sine theta over cosine theta times cosine theta equals 2. Sine theta over cosine theta is tangent theta. Then 1 over cosine theta is secant theta, which is the right side the same. Question 2. The left side is cotangent squared theta minus cosine squared theta. If we don't know how to verify an identity, first change all expressions to sines or cosines. So, first one, cotangent squared theta is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. Since there is a cosine squared theta on the right hand side, we take out the cosine squared theta and factor it out. Cosine squared theta, then 1 over sine squared theta minus 1 equals cosine squared theta, then 1 over sine squared theta minus 1 is the same as sine squared theta over sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta times with the single fraction 1 minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta times sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1 then cosine squared theta equals 1 move this to the right minus sine squared theta then the numerator is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta times Cosine theta over sine theta is 
cotangent theta. The second one is cotangent squared theta. So left hand side is the same as right hand side. This is the last one. Left hand side is secant theta plus 1 over secant squared theta. Since secant theta minus 1 is in the denominator on the right hand side times secant theta minus 1 on each side. Use a plus b, a minus b equals a squared minus b squared, a part plus b part, a part minus b part. Then a squared is secant squared theta minus b squared is 1 over secant squared theta times secant theta minus 1. Use the Pythagorean identity. Tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. Then tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta minus 1. Then the numerator is tangent squared theta over secant squared theta times secant theta minus 1. Then we can rewrite it as the first one is sine squared theta over cosine squared theta over this part is 1 over cosine squared theta then secant theta minus 1 times cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta equals times then cancelled sine squared theta over times cancelled secant theta minus 1. The final expression is the same as right hand side. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.